What's up guys, it's Felix from Flipping Medical Commodities University. I also run the Giant Lifestyle YouTube channel. So I've been getting this comment from time to time recently and I wanted to cover it, which is people are saying that this business of buying and reselling diabetic medical commodities, buying and reselling diabetic testing supplies is only existing because we're one, taking advantage of people or two, people are selling us their products when they should otherwise be testing and those two statements are the farthest thing from the truth and we'll just throw one more in there that we're illegally buying these products number one you could look it up on google it's a hundred percent legal legal l-e-g-a-l to buy and resell diabetic test strips. You can buy them from the store with no prescription, or you can buy them from anybody that has a box. Even if there is a label from the pharmacy on a box of diabetic testing supplies or strips, you can resell it and you can buy it from anybody. It does not matter, it is not illegal, it is 100% legal. Think about this, why would I share information on this business for years on end if it was illegal? If it was illegal, that makes zero sense, right? So that right there should be proof in itself that it's legal. And then two, you could look up the law. It's a hundred percent legal to buy and resell diabetic testing strips. So from there, let's cover the point that people are selling us their supplies when they should otherwise be testing. Now, listen, I can't say how many times somebody has to test their blood sugar and regulate their levels of blood sugar. I'm not a doctor, I'm nobody's doctor, I'm just somebody that does this business. But I could tell you from years of doing this business, years on end, eight to nine, eight to 90 percent of people who sell you their diabetic testing supplies do get extras. I can't tell you how many clients tell me literally when they first discover my service and my business of buying and paying cash for their diabetic testing supplies, who has told me and my employees, who, because I have employees who help me run this business, that they say, hey, listen, I'm so grateful for your service because if you didn't pay me cash for these supplies, I was otherwise going to throw them out, meaning most of them have a surplus. Now, can it be that maybe somebody needs a little bit of extra cash and they might sell me a box when they maybe should keep it? Who knows, possibly. But most people get a surplus. We're not buying people's last supplies. We're buying the surplus that they want to sell. And all right, so I had to scroll back and make sure that I answered the questions that I previously intended to ask or answer in this video. But I did, and there you guys have it. No, we're not taking advantage of people. People are selling us their surplus supplies. And if you want to learn how to do this business, if you want to know everything, A to Z, I have a question about this. I have a question about that. How do you do this? How do you do that? What do you say? What do you pay? What do you buy? What do you look for? What do you not buy? What can you not buy? Everything A to Z in a step-by-step -step three to four hour training. It's a very concise and precise training that really shows you everything A to Z. So all you have to do is check that link down in the description below. Go there, enter your name and your email, and do some due diligence, do your research. I have a bunch of videos. I have an explainer video that shows you the business A to Z, and it will break down everything you need to know and you know there you guys have it i've been doing this business since 2015 i have hundreds and hundreds of success stories and there you guys have it so appreciate you guys watching make sure to subscribe make sure to drop a like on the video and i will see you guys in the next video peace